Good morning, everyone. I got everything loaded up for the shoot, even though it's a mess. Because we didn't have everything here yet. Just putting everything to eat now. We got the water bottle. We got weights, water, pelican cases full of stuff. And uh, got Justin today, Chris today. And I think Nadine just rolled up. Oh, there it is. Hey, Nats, just park somewhere. Just park somewhere. Why? Since uh, Evan's not coming, we can take one car. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, why isn't he coming? Oh, he has a doctor's appointment, and he tried to uh, uh, reschedule, and he says the next time would be, like, late November. Yeah. yeah. And one thing that's super cool is uh, Chris has a super dope sprinter van, and I'm kind of glad that he parked it here. Because then that would mean when uh, we leave and Gio comes out for work, and like, what the hell is a sprinter van? I've been wanting to get it because his thing is solar-powered. And there's like a battery, so it charges his battery. And he's told me if he could go off the, if he went off the grid, right, and doesn't plug into anything, he could run like computers, Wi-Fi hotspot, uh, a stove, a little heating unit for like a week straight. That's freaking cool, huh? We drove around for a bit, and uh, without my buddy Ryan, I don't really know where it's at. But I think we found a place that's relatively safe to do this at. We got a oh dance dance blown out we have a little backdrop to shoot against and one of my favorite things about coming out shooting in places like this is we get to off-road to get to the site so we were off-roading from over there all the way over here and then now i popped up here this is a cool picture i'm definitely gonna take a picture later and uh then we're gonna set up our little station out here and probably do our We'll do the lifting, maybe do the lifting somewhere around here, and then we have to run up there, set up targets up there, something like that. We'll figure it out. I'll show you guys once we set it up. So what are we uh, mixing? We're making exploding targets. And what's supposed to happen? Uh, if they get hit with a bullet, they yeah. go boom. So don't miss. Like a firework? Like is there cool colors? Or it's just boom? Yeah, they make, uh, they make a unicorn shape. Ooh! Yeah. No big deal. You want to try one? They're pretty tasty. Oh, it tastes really good? It's like dipping Oh, sauce. thank you so much. Oh, yeah, thank you so it, much, Nadim. Oh, yeah, yummy. It's like astronaut ice cream. Nadim's <laughs> <laughs> so dope. He's, he's always trying to find ways to trick me because he knows he's going to lose. So he's like, okay, how can I poison him or give him, like, a tummy ache or something? And I'm like, yeah, yeah all right, bro. We got a lot of these guys. So this is the first time I'm gonna see these go off in real life. So it's gonna be really cool. And for a lot of you guys, it'll probably be the first time you guys see it. But we got the core set up. And uh, so we have um, curl, overhead press, and then squat here. Then you gotta run over to those two cones. And then you gotta shoot those targets over there with the pistol. So it's gonna be bang, bang, knock all those guys over. And then uh, bang, bang. Then we, oh shoot, it's blown out. And then we gotta run. Then we gotta run. Damn, I can't even tell I'm zooming in. Okay. Then we run all the way over there where those two cones are. And uh, from those two cones, we set up three saw horses. Those are those wooden things that people like make makeshift tables and saw things on. And uh, there's three of them over there. And so we're gonna put the exploding targets there. After we're done shooting those guys. I think we can run back and then uh, down a protein and it's this is going to be called the ultimate bro off. So if you guys want to check the full actual video out, that's going to be on the Barbell Brigade channel and uh, you could YouTube ultimate bro off, probably the curl, the shoot and then the drink or something like that. I don't know what the actual working title is just yet, but I mean I don't know what the actual title is just yet, that's the working title. So I'm uh, decently geared up now. I got my belt on, mags, and one really cool piece of gear I wanted to put on was this GoPro. Because uh, this GoPro will give us a really cool angle on the rifle when we shoot it. And um, I could probably run a couple of takes where it's pointing away from the gun too. So you could see like the gun's perspective. That might be really, really cool. Um, and there'll be a really up close and personal shot that we usually won't be able to get because it's just really dangerous to shoot that way. And we're also going to have a drone. So I think this video is going to cut together pretty good, pretty excited. And uh, yeah, you guys have to go to 
the YouTube channel and check it out. All right, here's the cool part. I've never witnessed this before, but we're gonna do a test shot on this exploding powder so we all kind of know how it feels. So during the competition, we don't like freak out and go, oh shit. So the photographer knows how it feels, the videographer knows how it feels, and we all know how it feels. And you can see what it looks like. So we're gonna be shooting somewhere down there. Blee is setting up a GoPro. Do you think that explosion is gonna melt that GoPro? It won't melt it, it might knock it over. Oh, okay. Should it be further away? Yeah, but that's less fun. Okay. It'll last for a few more takes? Yeah. Okay. You have your ears in? Yeah. Hey, Nad, you have your ears in? Okay. Then whenever Blee comes back, we can shoot that thing. All right, Blee said GoPro is speeding. Let's see what this looks like. Woo! Damn, that sawhorse is dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. That thing is dead on the ground. So we're done filming, and it was dope. We had huge explosions going on, and now we're just doing fun bonus stuff. We got the Deem on the drone over here while we're off-roading into some fucking crazy ass, like, I don't even know if anyone's ever been on here. There's no trail. But I'm sure the footage and the drone's gonna look <laughs> tight. I have the four-wheel drive on like a motherfucker, and I feel like I'm on a, I'm on like a Bronco, like a horse, and I feel like the tires are gonna pop at any second. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Like yeah, Jurassic Park, bro. Yeah, this is nuts. I don't even know. I'm gonna get out from here. Hopefully, I can find an exit on the other side. Where's the drone at? Huh? Where's the drone? I don't even know where the drone's at. Dude, we're like in the middle of fucking nowhere, dude. But that's what's awesome about this. Okay. Oh, the drone's right there. Where? Where? Oh, shit, it's right there. Damn, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hopefully, we can cut some of that footage and you can see how crazy the the geography is right now. Right back into civilian life. Just cause even though we had all that fun, we still got work to do. So I'm back at the JK office, still in my clothes. I probably stink out in the sun. Didn't really take a shower this morning, didn't have time. Still got my shooting shoes on, my speed crosses. Um, but I gotta come here, I gotta do our meetings. Cause uh, as I was telling you guys before, yes, I'm in the bathroom. Uh, I was telling you guys before, you know how we're trying to take over that space next to the gym. So we have, uh, they gave us an actual contract to look at now to renew the lease. So we really have to get into it. And we haven't really found someone to sublease the current space. We just take over the rent here. So we're kind of like in a hard position. So I got to meet with Ma Bear and Aaron to really work that out. But I really hope it goes through because that would boost morale and really bring our uh, Barlow Brigade gym staff and corporate together. So we're about you to have the our work. company yeah. meeting, but before we have that, something <laughs> caught the corner of my eye. So we got these new uh, dad hats that just came in. Evan helped design it. This is for the Phantom collection. Uh, yeah, dropping October 10th, possibly at 10 a.m. Probably not, but we'll see. Why <laughs> probably not? I don't know. I, we never tried 10 a.m. Try new things. I think I already nice. told I, in the in the video we shot today. I told them 10, 10, 10. Okay. So it is October 10th at 10 a.m. Check it out. Bam! It's a rebirth dad hat. Super cool. Where's Oh, it's on the show too. Oh, I took it. Where was it? Hey, Mark, can you throw me a beanie? You want here? You want to pass it to us? Check this guy. We got more head gear. Uh, so this one's from a, a legit military uh, like surplus company, I think. Oh, yeah. And it says it's, got, it's like DOD. 
certified or whatever. That's dumb. Um, so this one's super sick. There's a bunch of other stuff. How appropriate is this? I should have gave this to Chris. Could have kept his little head warm. I'll send you one, Chris. My butthole is so sticky and itchy. I didn't get a chance to. What the? It's flat. That means we haven't ridden in a long time. Do we have anything that you uh, inherited? Do we have a pump? I don't know. Pump? Damn, I didn't know the bike pumps went out that fast. Damn, we just didn't ride it for like a month. It's been several months. It's been several months? Oh. Damn, let me see. I don't know if we have a pump, but yeah, my butthole's kind of sticky right now. Because I didn't shower this morning. I didn't want to wake them up. And uh, been shooting, got sweat, got swamp ass. So I kind of want to take a shower, but this is a really cute moment and I don't want to miss it. But I don't know if we have a pump though. What about this bike? Does this bike have air? Oh, no, it's pretty soft. Oh, yeah. Damn, if you don't ride bikes, the just air just leaks out, huh? I didn't know that. You're just going to ride with a flat tire? Oh my god. Babe! Babe, isn't it gonna ruin the rim? It's gonna ruin the rim. Oh, really? Yeah. Because there's no cushion. Huh? I don't know about that. Oh, it's gonna ruin the rim because it's gonna, uh. It's gonna. Because there's no cushion. So it's just metal on concrete action. But it's not even touching. There's no metal touching. There isn't? Well, there's a little bit of air down there, I guess. Yeah. What do we do? Fine, fuck you, just keep riding. If it fucks up, let's replace it, I guess. How do I put air in it? Do we have a pump? Do you, didn't you buy a whole kit? A kit? Not an air kit. No, but a kit with the adapter. Because I have a pump. Oh, you have a pump? Yeah. I don't know if I bought an adapter. What do you know? That I love you. <sighs> Alright, what are we gonna do? So that's it. Take Where's that. the pump? Where's the pump? He looks so good in this now. <laughs> Look at his eyes. I just showered and I feel great. I feel fresh. Ooh, orange soda for me. No, I got you a root beer. Oh, well, well, fine. Can I have an orange soda or not? Since when do you like orange soda? I love orange soda. That, since when? Enlighten me. Since like 1990. That's it. Fine. But look at all this food that came out. I smell all this Korean food. They didn't oh, give yeah. us a punch on. Oh, they didn't? They didn't give yeah. us the sides? What? Nice. But hey, we still got the oyster pancake. Got the dumplings. I, I am hungry. You know how hungry you get when you go out shooting hey, like that. No. We got... Who did you give up a baby? Baby, baby, baby. Look at this. Baby. Baby. Soda you can have one, yeah. One's my mom's. Fine, are you, really, are you down to drink root beer while I drink orange soda? No, that's why I don't buy root beer. Fine, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Did you see grandma just disappear around the corner? I, I know, she likes to interrupt and then doesn't want to be the video. Yeah. There you are, grandma. Get out of here. Look at this freaking hijo de puta madre. Hija, hija de hija puta. De puta. She no, actually no. had three. She had three. She purposely freaking hit it in the fridge because she knew she was going to get a reaction out of me. The fridge. You're dumb for not looking in the fridge. Well, because I, I don't want to invade people's privacy. Oh. You hijo de, hija hija. de puta madre. Plata o plomo. Guata Guarala Hala la hala da tajin de frijoles puta chingón más puta Tú eres más puto eres más puto de tiro Cover your ears Taika Toma bebé All right we got our favorite drinks again the snowies and this little guy loves this drink too. Watch, I'll drink some of it. Sometimes Boba goes in his mouth. He seems she was so cute. Look at this guy. He's using a Boba straw at one years old. Not even 13 months yet. He's pretty advanced. Good job, Taika. Just don't spit it out, please. Good job, mister. We just try to pull the straw up so he's not in the Boba 
area. But once is it in a yummy? while, there's that one. Is he gonna fall off the couch, babe? No. Okay. Good job, Taika. So I blow out the, the bobas, and then I just give him the milk part. Here. And this is non-caffeinated. It's just milk. There's cocaine in it, though, isn't there? Yeah. He loves it. Yummy, huh? <laughs> Yummy.